So here's another really fun one. It's really just an LED strip again. The simplest things can be the, the, the best. And, uh, but this time I've turned uh, one of those seamstress elastics into an LED strip, painstakingly. I managed to uh, fry one of the, the greens, unfortunately, when I was soldering, but since uh, all the others turned out good and the blue is still fine, I figure for the prototype I'll leave it as is. And then, uh, yeah, I've got a nano and a magnetometer. The magnetometer is reading absolute orientation, so like when you're facing north, it's blue, and then when you're facing east, it's faded from blue slowly to green as it gets over there. So it just kind of rotates through colors as you go around in a circle. So you can move your fingers like this, and you'll, you'll get colors as you rotate back and forth across the, the magnetic orientations. And yeah, it's really that simple. You could tie off one end to a chair and then one end to a hand or chair to foot. I like foot to hand. It allows you kind of this, this double layer of control. And I plan to flip to accelerometers later and probably even put an accelerometer on the foot so you can uh, have control from both sides, maybe one color per, per, acceler per accelerometer. Anyways, I'll give you a quick look how it looks. Unfortunately, in the dark, the camera has a real trouble picking up the color because the contrast will become, become so high that um, it just kind of comes out as white dots, even though that my eye can see the full color. The, the camera kind of, they get overloaded and they just fall into white, which is annoying. But get some music going. I'm not much of a dancer. I'll need at least a beat to follow them sometime. And yeah, so you can imagine if you coordinated several performers with these, it could be quite fun. Especially when you start getting the whole body involved in the, the movements, it could be a lot of fun. And of course the best part is this, you can snap it like a bow. And then the, the tension you apply as you snap it determines the effect, and then you can kind of move it around as a snap. Basically, if you add on a good dance performer on top of this thing, you should be able to produce some beautiful effects. And that's about it. It's a lot of fun.